you brought up Beckham, you said you really like yeah. the documentary. Oh, Dog yeah. I've been hearing about this doc documentary. is good. It's the first Travis, uh, Kelsey, and Taylor Swift. The OG. Yeah, that's a good-ass yeah. point. It's fire. That is a good-ass point. Did you see it? I, my wife's been watching it, so I've been, like, picking up little parts. Yeah. And, uh, and like, she'll pass out, and I'll just keep watching. That's how I know if something's good. Yeah. And, uh, like, really fun. He's great. He's great. And obviously it's a documentary, so it's accentuating like the best parts of him. I thought it was, I don't know soccer, so you tell me. It felt like OD. Like, like Jordan documentary, he's undeniably top two at the very least best basketball player of all time mm. in the entire history of the universe. I don't ever hear people put Beckham oh. top five, mm. top ten. And the way they're talking about him, it's like, this is the greatest player to ever set foot on grass. To me, I thought he was, because that was the only player I heard of as a young kid yeah. in soccer. Yeah. So he, was like, oh, he, icon. he yeah. must be. He was the icon. But as strength, like my friends who knew soccer were like, yeah, he's good. Yeah. That's it. I, my takeaway, maybe because I already knew that he was, he was a really good player, but not like the number one guy in the world at the time. My takeaway was more like personality wise. Like I, I saw him as like a quite well-rounded individual, like not too pompous or arrogant, like, like kind of hardworking player. And until was the guy Sir Alex Ferguson. Sir Alex Ferguson. Ferguson, like until they, you know, he separated and went and played in Real Madrid or whatever, like kind of like kind of humble, almost respectful of this guy who was his coach since he was a teenager, mm -hmm. which I didn't expect from him. You know, like I don't, I didn't. I, yeah, he comes off almost like a kind of working class bloke. Yeah, which I knew him as like a fashion icon. Yeah, yeah. see, that, so it's like felt, really refreshing to see. Like I felt the, he was closer to that than he was portraying himself, and it was just like, gotcha. I feel, I mean, like the guy was modeling, and then he acts like, dude, I just wanted to be, play football, and like, yeah. I don't know what's happening around me. Yeah, I missed the birth of my daughter to go do a photo shoot with J Lo and Beyonce, but like I just, <laughs> I'm just a working class bloke who yeah. loves Guinness, and, and it's that's like, the genius of documentary. Like yeah. you can curate whoever you want, but I saw this one clip going around. That's the where, best. Uh, I know she was capping. <laughs> she oh, was like, oh yeah, I grew up on middle class. Dude, this <laughs> is the genius though. Is he does that to his wife, and then nobody does that to him? Yeah. But you watch that moment, and you're like, yo, they did. They were authentic in the documentary. Yeah. She be capping more than him though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, sure. he, he, he don't really brag a lot, you know what I mean? He, like, reacts to the game, and then they do a really cool <laughs> visual effect where he's watching the game through yeah, the lens. Oh, yeah. So they could, you get, like, his... So visually, imagine there's a camera behind the screen that uh -huh. he's watching the game. Okay. So you get his, like, in-the-moment reactions to his plays. Oh, so he's cool. watching like yeah, yeah. yeah. But he's watching looking into your eyes. Like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it was really cool. But uh, uh, He did cap on the affair thing, though. Like, they kind of touch on it a little bit, and he was like... That was like a really tough time for us, man. People were trying to tear us apart. And it's like, <laughs> uh, tough time for us. Like you, you're throwing us out. Victoria and I had to fight for each other. She was yelling at you for two years straight. <laughs> like, what? This is a very funny. But did he fuck the girl? Like, what was the deal? The idea, I'm fairly certain. He had, it was enough that he had to address it. And if he didn't fuck her, he'd probably take that documentary to be like, I didn't touch this girl. Mm. What are you guys talking about? Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He didn't ever say he didn't do it. Yeah. He was just like, we had to really fight to save our marriage. It was important for us to be there for each other. And it's like, well, this is a funny way of putting it. Yeah. That's why I felt like he capped when he needed to cap. She capped on like, I'm working class. And he capped on like. I'm faithful. Yeah. I, yeah. I'm <laughs> oh, a great I husband and a working how, class guy. How, sounds good. How good was he? Yeah, that's what I want I mean, he was like the star of England, arguably. Okay. Like he was like their guy, set piece dude, like winning, like. You see it in the documentary, like when he gets the red card and they lose on PKs to Brazil or whatever, or Argentina. Argentina, yeah. Uh, like they blame him yeah. because he was like a linchpin. He was the captain of England. So when you're the captain of a country that is like the epicenter of like European soccer, you're raised to a higher level. Of course. It's like, like being the best player on the Knicks. You don't right. have to be the best player in the, or the best player on the Cowboys, the quarterback. Ex yeah, you don't have yes, to be yes, the yes, best yes, for yes, your yes, health. Yes. And then he's also married and has a kid with the biggest Most pop star famous. in England. Pop star, yeah, and yeah. then he's also just extremely handsome. Like he's so guys. hot, dude. Yeah. yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. didn't realize it when he's younger. Shaves his head, gets hotter. That's when I was like, this guy's a smoke show. Can't lose. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Who's who's hotter, him or Ronaldo? Oh, David Beckham's on another I think, planet. I think it's oh, Beckham, really? dude. Yeah. I think it's Beckham. Another planet. Beckham might be up there. Yeah. When you see him with the shaved head, you're like, dude, this guy is sex. Yeah. Yeah. Two or sex. Yeah. Yeah. Two or sex, dude. But to be he a star was, athlete. He was enjoying this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch it, dude, and yeah. you'll see what I mean. What other athlete is as handsome as Beckham? LeBron. <laughs> Why y'all laugh, bro? I mean, I said it so y'all would laugh, but that's how you feel about LeBron. Y'all just no, laugh. He's not, no, he's not David Beckham. Yeah. 
Yeah, I know. I, I think LeBron <laughs> would agree with that. I think if he saw it, he'd be like, yeah, I know Beckham. Yeah, yeah. yeah. LeBron's toes alone, I think, disqualify yeah, from, yeah. from the Beckham combo. Tiger Woods? Nah, nah, nah. Come on, oh, man. That's what I'm saying, bro. There's no, no not right. even close. No never, one that's as good that's as handsome. It's very rare. It's I mean, Tom Brady is the only other one. Oh, Tom Brady. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Tom yeah. Brady. Yeah. 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 And Ronaldo. And, and Ronaldo. Ronaldo's gorgeous, good gorgeous man. Mm -hmm. Okay, so documentary you thought was fair to his skill level? Like he was, he was excelling and doing some pretty cool things? Mm -hmm. For the teams he was playing for, yeah, absolutely. I yeah. thought so. But I'm also like tainted. I grew up like watching him. And being like, oh, yeah, this is the best. Oh, really? I bought the cleats. I was like, dude, the fucking, yeah. The, yeah. Du the dust in it. Could he do something that other players can do? That bend it shit? Because nah, nah. that's the only thing I heard from him. Yeah, the only like reason that. I found out about him was from the movie. I was yeah, a little yeah, salty yeah, yeah. and bring up that I mean, he was like, movie, by the way. He was good at set pieces and had, like, legendary free kicks at, like, one insane game. So he had some very clutch moments. Yeah. And mm -hmm. then he also was very good at setting people up around the net right mm -hmm. so uh, it's it's weird like when you're a casual soccer fan it doesn't seem like it's hard to just kick the ball high and then people head it in mm -hmm. but placing that i guess is a yeah. very difficult skill and yeah. you have to be really good at it yeah so people respected his assisting ability is yeah, that yeah. fair I, I think so again i'm not like an expert in beckham i didn't like watch yeah. him at the time with like soccer iq yeah but yeah i mean he, he was like known for set pieces yeah. And so corners, free kicks, and like having clutch moments. Yeah. Sorry. I forget, it was 2002 World Cup where he, they won against Greece. And yeah. This like, might be OD, but was there a time when he was considered the the best player in the world? No. I don't think in so. In the world. Not of all time. No, no, in the world. Because at the time, he's playing against OG Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Brazilian Ronaldo. Which was yeah. like unstoppable. He wasn't the best player on his team. That's, yeah. When he was playing Real Madrid. Like yeah. there was probably multiple people that were better. Yeah. And yeah, that, I, that's where I was like, I feel like they're. The way they talk. It's the same way they talk about Jordan on The Last Dance. Yeah. And that's a fluff piece, but it's a Jordan. So who Bro, gives that, a fuck? But he might be the most famous in the world. Yeah. yeah. And it was cool. The owner of the Real Madrid, there's a really cool moment where uh, they, yeah. the owner, they asked the owner of Real Madrid, like, why did you sign him? You already had this other guy named Luis Figo, I think it was his name. Yeah. Because you already had this other guy named Luis Figo playing on the right. And, um, and the owner just goes, uh, because he was going to make us millions of dollars. He tripled, <laughs> our, <laughs> he tripled he just, our revenue. He, oh, he, <laughs> he tripled, just says it. He tripled, he tripled our revenue. Our revenue. Oh, and wow. literally they're doing these, what are they called, friendlies or something yeah. like that. They take the team on the road and they play these games. Like they'll do it sometimes at MetLife or Yankee mm -hmm. Stadium here. And it's just an opportunity to, for people to go see these iconic teams in different places. But they get paid so much fucking money to do something like that. Oh, really? So you add a superstar like Beckham, who's the most popular player in the world at this time. You take him to fucking China. And the circus around him is crazy. Oh, I mean, I, yeah, the fame level is nuts. That's something that I admire how they handled it. Like, yeah, okay, you got some pussy on the side or whatever, but like, that's also true. Their ability to withstand that type of pressure. Yeah, that's true. And remain somewhat normal. Yeah. Like, both of them seem kind of cool when you talk to them. Like, and I don't mean cool in terms of, um, how they look or dress. Like, I don't give a fuck about the tattoos. Like and shit. grounded. Yeah, like like grounded. Like. She seems kind of dope. Yeah. She's kind of like funny. Yeah. Like she don't even really like soccer. Yeah. She's yeah. like, and she says, she's like, I just liked him. That one like, part, she's like, I'm going to work. And they're like, no, where are you really going? She's like, get a facial. Yeah. <laughs> so like, <laughs> like she's like referential and like where she's at. I don't know. I thought it was cool. I like them. They're, yeah. They're, they're quite interesting. That's a good point. You're to be that famous. And it's not, like, you see yeah. what it does to people, man. Even if you're acting a little more humble than you are to not be a complete egomaniac nutbag at that level of fame, yep. you got to commend that. Yep. Yeah. To go and open the door to the room and say to your wife, yeah. when you're making your documentary, what type of car was it? Yeah. Well, there's a situation. What type of car? <laughs> One answer. Yeah. Rolls Royce. Yeah. <laughs> so that's it's fantastic. Fun. And for her to do it and let it be out there, cool. It's fantastic. See, and that's funny. I guess I have to watch this because I thought they were the opposite. I didn't think they that's were. So you would think. Because I thought they started the trend like naming their kids like some stupid ass name. They, they did a little bit. I feel like they started. Part of it. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's like then Apple son, and all these stupid ass son, names came out. You know what's so funny but, about that is that when I saw how young they were. Yeah. Mm. It was he's like, like 23. He's like 23 or 24. Like you're a kid with a kid. So what would a kid do? You yeah. know what I mean? Like it, it, I remember judging it 
but now that I'm fucking 39 years old yeah. and I'm seeing like a 23 or 24 year old kid who's like into looking cool fashion hairstyles, what you the same thing is going to be projected on your son. Mm, yeah. You're not going to be like, let me find a regal name that he'll be okay <laughs> with when he's a he'll be like, no, nah, I'm going to name him Ferrari. Yeah. Yeah. Not even that you bad. Know, say again. Harper, Cruz, Romeo, and Brooklyn. The first two are Brooklyn, Brooklyn and, and Romeo. Romeo. Yeah, yeah, Brooklyn, Brooklyn, I think Romeo, after Cruz. that they're like, all right, let's uh, chill the fuck out <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. I heard Cruz, I heard, I don't know if this is true, it was named after Tom Cruise. Get out of here. That's a little yeah, weird. Apparently Beckham was so starstruck when he met Tom Cruise. He was like, dude, this is unbelievable. That's a little weird. Apparently, that's what they said. They like, cheat on her with a dude? <laughs> <laughs> that's the Scientology money. Yeah. That's what, that's what happened. Shit. They, yeah. they were both going through a hard time. <laughs>